Oh, it's, it's been Valentine's Day, hasn't it? I imagine people are talking about love and all that stuff. Who did, now, who did you like, send a Valentine to? I didn't. No, I sort of... I view Valentine's Day like the Polish food aisle of a supermarket. <laughs> I don't really know what it's for, but I like to look at it. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> I've been thinking, because um, they've been talking about different gifts you can give people on Valentine's Day, and the worst gift, apparently, is petrol station flowers. But then how do you know they're petrol station flowers? I mean, you can't actually... T unless, of course, they've all been mangled through that night hatch. <laughs> but also, it gets a bad press, the petrol station flowers, because if you buy flowers in a florist, there's no petrol. <laughs> Or packets of Maltesers or anything. <laughs> so actually, I would rather receive petrol station flowers from someone because then I would know that I had a discerning lover who shopped at flexible shops. I think it's just too much pressure and it's for uninventive people. Everyone gives red roses and chocolates. It's like, think of something yourself, like, do something a little bit more creative. Like, to yeah, me, I tried just that. so... I oh, tried that, but it backfired. Yeah, cos it's what rubbish. Did, what did you try, Sean? I made a card, made a card for my uh, wife's stroke girlfriend, Lodger, and... <laughs> <laughs> I made it myself and she didn't right. like it. That's sweet, though. No, that's... Yeah, but I do, so what it is, I, I cut a picture of a heart out of a cigarette packet. Creative. <laughs> 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 you know, thing about Valentine's it's Valentine's is that time when you can tell people, you know, if you, if you like them. I don't know if you read, do you read Heat magazines? Anyone read Heat magazine? <laughs> is that the magazine that reviews different boilers and lagging jackets? <laughs> <laughs> this one, in a way. <laughs> I think it's, it's different in the Republic of Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Because they do a thing every year where they talk about people's weird crush. So the number one uh, weird crush, as voted for by the British public, is Russell Howard, which doesn't seem that weird to me. Number two, if you've seen that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you, are, you are a weird crush, which yeah. is <laughs> such a terrible backhanded compliment. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> well, so it's like saying you don't sweat much for a fat girl. <laughs> Weird Crush is also John's signature lovemaking style as well. <laughs> <laughs> they sent me a badge. I think it says something on it like, not quite weird enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a chat up line that is. <laughs> the lady's just looking for a man who says, I'm mental, but not very. <laughs> I can't help thinking, you know, there, if you look at this panel, there are two people who are single who might get on quite well. <laughs> We've got <laughs> Janine, you're, you're single, right? Stop. <laughs> playground now. <laughs> Two plenty done. Yeah. <laughs> she does. She and clearly does. she does. She does. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not weird enough for me, Jamelia. Just, <laughs> just get on with it. Just you know. You know get on get down it. to oh, business. I haven't got yeah. And well, it I've is got a business with me. girlfriend every bloody week. <laughs> You're going to feel pretty bad when one week I come in and I'm in a relationship and there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and Sue. <laughs> Sue. <laughs> Sue and I. I can imagine you getting into a relationship where you're one of those couples that talk about, well, Sue and I think. Yeah. <laughs> like, even on the show, if she wasn't here, you go, so what have people been talking about this week? And you go, well, Sue and I have been talking about... <laughs> I won't balance. be doing this show if I have a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't leaving the house, I ain't doing gigs. Comedy's just one bit. I mean, you two are in relationships. You only do comedy because you're not really happy in them. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's have a look and see if Valentine's Day is up there. <laughs>